Hi, how you doing there folks? I'm making this video to talk about the draconian bus fare hikes and service cuts that were voted in today. Now supposedly there was supposed to have a be a plan that was approved by the assembly. The assembly said they would approve it. It was for there to be two dollar tolls to cross over the crossings into Manhattan and the, the payroll tax as proposed by the ravage plan which the governor supports some women silver reports there's enough support in the assembly for it to get voted in but the problem is the state senate the state senate does not want to approve it they voted it down they don't want they don't want this to go through okay Malcolm Smith is one of the corporates one of the corporates right here, and it's in the paper. It's in the paper. It was in of the phone numbers, the phone numbers of these state legislators that are that are the corporates for what for what's going on. Right here, it's in the paper. Right here, okay. One of them, the state senator Carol Kruger, one seven one eight seven four three eight six ten. State Senator Malcolm Smith, 1718-528-4290. Assembly Speaker Sheldon Silver, he, he's for, he's not really with the pro really the problem, he's for it. 1212-312-1420. State Senator Dean Scowls, 1516-766-8383. Governor David Patterson, 1518-474. Give these people a call and tell them to vote for the bailout for the MTA. Because if it doesn't happen, there's going to be an elimination of there's going to be an elimination of almost 23 bus routes. Well, it's over here. It's in the, today's New York Post, folks. There's going to be an elimination of 23 bus routes, the M6, the M8, the M10, the M18, the M27, the M30, B23, B23, B25, B37, B39, B51, B75, BX4, BX14, BX20, elimination of four subway lines are going to be eliminated, folks. And what's going to end up happening is 28 weekend bus buses are going to be eliminated 28 weekend 28 routes the one on weekends 49 bus routes will start later or in earlier and what's going to end up happening is it's going to be very crowded subway trains you're not going to have the choice of being able to ride on the surface which i totally am repulsed at basically you can't afford a car you don't get to ride on the, you don't get to ride and see scene we like us witchies do. You got used you Charlie, you take the subway, you run you ride underground and then at night when they're working on the tracks, the subway is just really very inconvenient. And not it's very inconvenient and it's not dependable. You could basically take three hours just to go twelve miles. First of all, they're gonna they're, they're gonna run According to these cuts, they're only going to run a half hour apart. And then if you have you got a backtrack because they're working on the tracks, and you might have to make another another half hour. You're talking about one hour to even go just a couple miles, folks, which is which is absolutely ridiculous. I give these state senators a call and tell them that that this cannot go on, and that if they do not approve the bailout for the MTA. They're going to be simply voted out of office, plain and simple, folks. Because this can't go on. The banks get bailed out. Us people that are that are poor, why not us being bailed out? And anyone that um, Senator Carol Kruger is against it because he's he's basically he's for the exhaust. He's for the people that are driving cars. He says it's going to unfairly impact motorists. Well, folks, a lot of people like me and a lot of people that depend on the New York City transit buses and subways simply cannot afford cars. I can't afford a car. I'm not making enough to drive a car. 
for these people that can afford to drive into Manhattan like big shots to and from work every day are not going to mind paying two dollars to go each way and the people that do mind they'll stop driving they'll start using mass transit and they're going to have they're going to have less exhaust in the city and everything. It's 23 million gallons of gas saved every year as a result of people that use mass transit. As was quoted in today's daily news. Right here, and it was on pages, pages 4 and 5. Okay, and right this. It was on pages, pages 4 and 5. And... Right here, New Yorkers who ride a subway rather than a car can serve more than 2 billion gallons of gasoline a year and cut carbon emissions by 100 million pounds. Well, simply, folks, what's going to end up happening is these cuts and these fare hikes go through. A lot of people are going to start driving. And you're going to have the this city is going to have way more exhaust than on the rivers, possibly of Japan, folks. Way more exhaust. And and there's going to be less, less people, ridership is going to go down, which is going to lead to even more fair hikes, more service cuts. This is a disaster, folks. Write to these politicians and tell them to start that they either start being for us, pull the MTA bailout to avoid the draconian service cuts and fair hikes, or simply they're going to be out of office. All right, now hope, hopefully tomorrow when I look at the paper, I'm going to see some good news.